Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? We're here. We're at Walmart. I'm going to do a little uh, Blu-ray hunt here at the Walmart today. I'm going to see if they, my Walmart finally has some steel books. You know, I see everybody showing off all the steel books. I keep checking and they don't have them, but there should be some new releases in stock as well. I'm going to be looking for uh, the Indiana Jones 4K exclusive. If they have the exclusive, I'll probably go ahead and get it because I do want that movie in my collection. But if not, I'll just wait and uh, for the standard 4K uh, to drop in price before I pick it up. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little uh, minor hunting video today. And then I just went to my P.O. box and I've got this massive uh, package right there in the back. So I'm going to go back to the house with you guys and we're going to go through any pickups that I grab in Walmart today. And I'm going to do uh, the unboxing for that uh, big box of stuff, whatever it is uh, that I just got from my P.O. box. So if you guys are ready, if you're ready for Walmarts, let's get in there and see what they got. And then we're going to go back and unbox this massive, my massive package. That didn't sound right at all. Uh, but yeah, we're at Walmart. Let's go in there and see what they got. Oh yeah, nothing like Walmarts in the early morning, you know, leading up to Christmas. I might have to do some Christmas shopping as well. You know, we're going to get a variety of things here today. I need to learn that it's not always just about me, you know, and my love for physical media. I got to purchase stuff for other people too. It's Christmas time for crying out loud. So the first thing I'm seeing is this little Expendables 4 Saw X standee right here, which is pretty cool. They're advertising the steel book, but I'm not seeing that. But uh, yeah, they got the Expendables 4 on DVD. Not seeing the spot for the Blu-ray. They got Saw X. On Blu-ray not seeing the 4k but I am seeing the DVDs and uh, they got this cool non-film collector set I always love the artwork on this but I just I already have the movie so I can't get it all right so I'm over here in the main section and uh, I do see this Oppenheimer icon edition that is spider wrapped to hell and look what that's doing to the slipcover how do they think that's a good idea to do this <laughs> to a collector's edition ridiculous um then they got the 4k blu-ray dvd i'm um, only seeing the blu-ray of indiana jones not seeing any of the special editions which is fine i don't need it but uh, i was going to get it if i found it uh five nights at freddy's is on blu-ray and dvd not seeing a 4k for that and we also got the turtles which i think had an exclusive steelbook to walmart but not seeing that and we just got the blu-ray and the DVD. So yeah, apparently today Walmart hates uh, 4Ks, even though they do have a 4K of the Expendables 4 down here, just not over in the standee section. And then we got some other stuff down here. These are all the older past releases. And then uh, looking pretty bare over here in this section. All this stuff's kind of empty, so maybe they're getting ready to restock it. Uh, but we do have my big fat Greek wedding, so that's cool, right? Uh, Christmas Story Christmas is here on DVD. I've showed this off on the channel before, and uh, this is actually a really good sequel. I do recommend that, but I wish they had a Blu-ray for it at least. Got a bunch of ha Hallmark stuff, uh, Guardians. Yeah, same old stuff we always see here. The Boogeyman on Blu-ray. Um, let's see. It Lives Inside. I don't think I've seen this. I've, I feel like I've heard decent things about that movie, but uh, I'm not going to get it on DVD. I think it has a Blu-ray though, and yeah, pretty much all just the same stuff. I don't, I don't ever see a steelbook section in in my Walmart. It's just DVDs mostly, which are fine. DVDs have their place in the physical media world. Ooh, this is a new Tara Reid uh, movie, Bloodthirst. Damn, that artwork's cool. But I'm sure the movie sucks. All right, guys. So we are back at the house, and I had to make some room at the table uh, to do this unboxing. This is this is amazing. What is it? Whoever sent this to me, uh, let me look at the name. Mike W uh, sent this to me. I believe that's the person that sent this to me. Um, is incredibly nice and thoughtful, and I appreciate this. This is a huge, massive package. I don't know what's inside this damn thing. Um, but I cannot wait to get into it. But yeah, just got home from Walmart. Well, like seven or eight hours ago, I got home from Walmart. And uh, I almost picked up Five Nights at Freddy's on Blu-ray, but I thought I would get it 
on Amazon because all of the Walmarts uh, Blu-rays were in these plastic cases and I looked inside of them and it looked like the edge of the slipcover was like slightly torn. Um, and that was like on it on the three that I picked up. So my daughter doesn't deserve torn or, or dented or messed up or mangled slip covers. So I'm gonna order it off of Amazon and I usually have pretty good luck with Amazon. I know some people don't, but I do. Um, but that just killed me with that Oppenheimer icon edition. It's such a beautiful edition and they spider wrapped it. Why, why would you do that, Walmart? It's like, God, it's so ridiculous because physical media, you know, we're hanging on by a thread and it's like we had these nice collector's editions that some people would probably want to collect and uh, you had people that walked in there to get that and they were probably like, never mind, I don't want this crap. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Why, why would they do that? That's so freaking dumb. Um, but all right, let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this box. Oh my goodness. And I apologize for shaking the camera and the table, but I'm doing the unboxing on uh, the table. I guess I could have put it in my lap. Maybe I'll try that. But uh, while I'm unboxing this, guys, how are you? All, have you all been? What'd you pick up this week? Did you grab any cool new releases? Face Off came out this week, but I'm still waiting on that from Kino Lorber. Um, the Mandalorian. I didn't see those on Walmart. I saw with a WandaVision uh, Blu-ray steelbook, not 4K. All right, I'm just envisioning like open. This is heavy. Um, I'm just envisioning opening this and it's just like a sea of Blu-rays and 4Ks or maybe just one like big heavy thing. Um, oh my goodness. Maybe it's a bomb or something. You can't say bomb on YouTube, right? Uh, bomb, 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 bomb. All right, let's... Uh, oh my God. Like this is it, just like I thought a sea of Blu-rays in this, in this thing. Um, let me show this off. Jeez Louise, look at this. It's amazing. I'm seeing stuff that I do have already, but I'm also seeing stuff that I don't have. Uh, so that's cool. But yeah, I, I knew this was going to take a little bit to go through. Oh my God, what is this? Uh, let me read this note. I got a note here. Uh, hey Ken, here is another movie package. Okay, some this is somebody that already sent me something before. Um, the French... The French movie in this package has English audio. As always, I love the content on your channel. Could you please uh, do a Bill... Sorry, guys, I have to flip this open. Could you please do a Bill Paxton and Twister impression while you unbox the package? That would be funny. Um, and I wish you and your family all the best, Mike. Um, do a Bill Paxton impression while I unbox this entire thing? I don't know. Uh, you gotta think about what's important, Joe. Me. Me, Joe, me. Um, that, that's all I got right now. I'll try to work in some other build packs and stuff because you sent me a lot of stuff. You deserve it. Into the unboxing. Look at this. Um, an Ecto-1. The Ghostbusters thing he sent me. What is this? I've never gotten... I've never, I don't think I've had anybody send me like model cars before. That's what this looks like. One of those die casts, like Hot Wheels. Not a Hot Wheel, but let me get this. Let me see what this is. This is really cool though. Yeah, I've never had, had anybody send me like a collectible. Hollywood Rods. That's badass. Thank you so much, Mike. Like that is awesome. That's something I can put up on the shelf. Uh, yeah, I like that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate it. Um, Sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's let's see what we got. Let's go through some of the Blu-rays. I got Cutthroat Island. Um, Cutthroat Island. Who put out this? This is a Lionsgate Blu-ray. Um, and I guess that this is a States... I thought this was an overseas release. Um, but they did the 4K overseas. And this is a, a Blu-ray for the States. So yeah, Lionsgate did this. So I imagine that Lionsgate will probably do a 4K steelbook of Cutthroat Island at some point. Uh, but this is notoriously a bomb, right? And I've never seen this movie, but it's got Gina Davis, and I love everything Gina Davis, so I'll, I will definitely check this out. Thank you, Mike. We got Deadpool right here. I do have Deadpool. I have multiple copies of Deadpool, but you can always use another copy of Deadpool on Blu-ray, right? Uh, we have the Taking of Felon 123, the Blu-ray, and uh, I have the 4K, I believe. Kino Lorber did the 4K. Uh, last December, I think. I, I do have that. I haven't watched it yet. I need to watch that. But um, cool to have the Blu-ray. Uh, I Blade. I do have Blade on Blu-ray, but thank you. 
These are all really clean too. I will say that sometimes I get stuff that's not so clean, but these are all like clean. So you did a good job cleaning these up. I appreciate that. Uh, Doom on Blu-ray. So I never bought this 4K because I don't remember liking this movie in the theaters, but I'm happy to have it on Blu-ray because I do want it in the collection. I just didn't want to get the 4K, even though I think it, was, it got down like eight bucks at one point. I got Dune right here. Uh, Dune on Blu-ray, the original, but I do have a 4K Aero video uh, Dune right here. I imagine these are all ones that you maybe upgraded, Mike, and you gave to me, uh, but I do appreciate it. Um, it's quite possible that I, you know, dump some of these at a half price books maybe um, at some points and I'll get something back for it. Uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It on DVD. I think that somebody... Oh, this DVD's banged up. I think that somebody sent me the Blu-ray of this. I could be wrong, but uh, I think Shout Factory did a Blu-ray. But I remember loving this movie. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. I was a big Naked Gun fan, and Leslie Nielsen is always great. Leslie Nielsen is always great. <laughs> uh, that was my Chet from Weird Science. That's that's. There's multiple Bill Paxtons. There's Twister Bill Paxton. There's Aliens Bill Paxton. Game over, man. Game over. Uh, um, and <laughs> there's uh, uh, there's uh, Weird Science Bill Paxton. There's Frailty. Um, you're not a demon, are you? There's that Bill Paxton. And then there's uh, Titanic uh, Bill Paxton as well. You know, 30 years I've been studying the Titanic, but I never laid it in. Not until now. <laughs> I love that line um, in Titanic. He's trying to get in the granddaughter's pants. Uh, at least that's what it seems like to me. I feel like they hooked up after the movie was over with. Uh, but let's let's go over these. Uh, these are uh, overseas Blu-ray releases. We have Mulholland Drive, which I do have on Blu-ray from Criterion. I never upgraded this to uh, 4K, but I, this was a hard watch for me. I couldn't get through it. We have uh, Reservoir Dogs on, uh, on Blu-ray. So that's cool. Uh, Deadlocked. Or deadlock. Sorry, I I don't know too much about this. This is on 4K. Who put this out? This has to be overseas. Um, yeah. What is this? This this looks like a spaghetti western. I don't know too much about deadlock. I need to I need to look into that one. Thank you though. Uh, the city of the lost children from Studio Canal. I think that this one isn't this one in um, the 30 years Sony Pictures collection. Isn't it? Isn't it in that collection? I think it is. Um, but that's cool. Thank you for giving that. Is that a Guillermo del Toro film? Um, somebody directed this movie. I don't know who, but, uh, it looks like it's got Ron Perlman in it. So it's gotta be Guillermo del Toro. At least he produced it maybe, but yeah, I've, I've heard of this. I, I think it's in that Sony collection though. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'll figure it out when I get done though. All right. We got, uh, the Godfather, uh, classic. I love the Godfather, Godfather part two, love the Godfather part two. But again, I have that 4k collector set. Um, you know, I have this movie, Mrs. Doubtfire. Talk about a movie that needs a 4k, but this is 20th century Fox. So probably we'll never get one. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire is firmly in my top 20 movies of all time. I absolutely adore this film. So you can never have enough Mrs. Doubtfire in the collection. Uh, Kingsman, the secret service. I think I had this one. This is the Kingsman sequel. I still haven't watched either Kingsman movie. Um, so yeah, I need to get on that at some point. That's an overseas release though. All right. What is all this? I'm trying to look my, this looks like there's some really good stuff in here, man. <laughs> it looks like there's some really good shit. Um, these are all wrapped up and they feel, let me put these down. This is a huge box. They feel like uh, steel books. So my goodness, dude, you're insanely gen generous uh, with this. What do we got going on in here? And guys, if you want to send me anything to my P.O. Box, I'll plug my P.O. Box real quick. Um, it's down below. My P.O. Box, if you want to send anything, I will unbox it. Shout you out on the channel. Um, oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This is a, um, is this a German face-off steelbook? <laughs> like, that, that's incredible. Um, is that German? It looks like German writing. A German face-off steelbook. That's, that's amazing. That's a Blu-ray steelbook. Oh my God. I love it. Um, I love it. Thank you so much. That, that's freaking awesome. Back to the Future steelbook. 
Um, what I think I got a Back to the Future Steelbook set. I can't quite remember. It might not be Steelbook. Uh, but yeah, this is very cool. This is a 4K Steelbook. Is that the? Is this the Steelbooks that they released like a year or so ago? Um, let me know. That that's really cool though. I'm glad to have that. 2001 A Space Odyssey, freaking awesome. This is a is this a 4K Steelbook or Blu-ray? Yeah, 4K Steelbook. That is awesome, dude. But this is incredible. I cannot believe you sent me this. Uh, this is the Batman and Robin Steelbook, 4K Steelbook, right? That's Batman and Robin. Is this the Zavia exclusive ones? That's badass. Thank you so much. Because I did want those, but I second guessed it and I didn't get them. Um, I was just like, ah, do I really need those? But I honestly do want to watch Batman and Robin on 4K because it probably looks pretty great. Um, so yeah, thank you. The only one of the Burton Schumacher Batmans that I have on 4K is Batman Returns. I never even bought the, the first Batman movie. Th this is awesome, man. Like I'm... I'm going crazy right now. I'm trying to contain my excitement. Um, so that's steel books. Looks like we got some possibly media books in here. Possibly German media books that don't even look opened. My goodness. Oh my God. What are you doing to me? Holy shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, what this looks like still wrapped uh, German media books for Rambo, uh, First Blood, First Blood Part Two, Rambo Two, and Rambo Three. Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? They're all they're all still wrapped. Uh, I think they're they're DVD and Blu-ray combos, but that's that's fucking nuts, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm trying not to cuss. Um, this is the uh, Dragon Hearts. Uh, is this a Blu-ray media book? That's crazy. That's so cool. I love this movie. I want to get that steel book that Walmart's putting out. Um, that is awesome. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, will I be able to watch this though? Like, can I actually watch these and understand them? I probably won't watch the Rambo's because I already have, you know, those on 4K. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. I can see what one of these is, and I actually did want this. Um, Schwarzenegger, Raw Deal on 4K. This was not released in the States. Uh, I think this is still just overseas exclusive. This is Studio Canal. They did this on 4K. Great, incredible cover with some great artwork. And um, I haven't seen this movie. This is one Schwarzenegger movie that I have not seen, so I'm excited to watch this one at some point. Oh my God, I cannot believe you sent this. I, I cannot believe you sent this. What are you doing, man? This is crazy. This is so freaking awesome. Uh, High Tension. Uh, they just released this media book, I think, recently. Uh, this is just a Blu-ray media book, but I think that this was released recently before they did the 4K announcement and all that. I think they released this High Tension uh, Blu-ray media book, but that's, that's incredible, man. Jeez, thank you so much. That's so incredible, man. Just, you know, stop thinking, stop looking into the past and, and pay attention to what's in front of you. It's me, Joe. It's me. Um, I'm sorry, but whenever I think of Bill Paxton, it's like that that one line like immediately goes into my head. Um, crimes of the Future. Uh, you got me the Crimes of the Future 4K set. I believe this is the 4K set. It might just be the blue. No, it is the 4K set. So I did an entire video on this because I was like, I don't need to get this and, and blah, blah, blah. Because uh, I had the Blu-ray. I watched it. I actually did really like the movie, but I was like, I just, I had already spent so much. And I was like, I'm trying to make better choices. I made a whole video about it. Uh, but if you want to send it to me, I'll, I'll take it. And thank you so much because I did enjoy this movie. So I'm happy to have this second sight set. This is incredible, man. Like this is, my goodness. Incredibly generous. Um, incredibly generous. All right, what do we got here? This is crazy. Uh, this is a 47 Ronin lenticular steelbook set. It's got a booklet inside. It's got a nice steelbook in here. I think this is probably 4K. I haven't seen this movie, but it's got Keanu, so it's got to be worth a watch, right? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we got Journey to the Center of the Earth, 3D Blu-ray. I have not seen that movie. Um, Mission Impossible Fallout. That is crazy. This is a steelbook uh, booklet release. Great steelbook. 
My goodness. All right, we got one more section to go through. This is incredible. This one's really wrapped. So uh, good luck getting into this. Incredibly generous, though, man. I I am overwhelmed. I am flabber, flabbergasted. I'm the Klimt, you know, as Mike Myers would say on Coffee Talk. I'm getting a little the Klimt. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Oh my goodness. I, I'm seeing some really cool stuff in here. These media books, like I love them. I'm just concerned I won't be able to watch them because they're, um, they're German. So let me know if I can actually watch these. This is Leatherface, uncut. So this is the Texas Chainsaw movie, I believe from, is this from 2017 this one came out? I actually didn't think this was bad. Um, I didn't think it was bad. I actually enjoyed this. I think the ending was a little like, eh, I don't know about that, but uh, I, I actually didn't think this was bad. Um, so I'm happy to have this uh, German, or no, this isn't, a, I don't think this is a media book. This is some kind of a, you know, open it. This is just a regular like digipack release or something, uh, side loader, but that's cool. Thank you for that leather face. Uh, this is Audrey Rose. I think Arrow did this last year, didn't they? That's pretty damn cool. This is a this one I I believe is a media book. Yeah, these media books are very cool. I've got a few other ones, uh, which Mike, you might have sent me all the other ones that you that before uh, that I got down there. I, I still have them all down there. You sent me some really cool ones. Uh, if it's if you're the same Mike that sent me this stuff last year, but yeah, very cool. Audrey Rose, Grizzly, like the artwork on these are incredible. I do have this from uh, Severin, but uh, yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, Guillermo del Toro's Mimic. I think, isn't this getting a 4K from Kino? Didn't they announce this, that they were going to do this on 4K? Um, Mimic is a really good movie, though. I remember really liking it. I, I watched it when I was a kid. And um, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to check that out on 4K when Kino releases it. But uh, very cool media book. It's got... Mira Sorvino in it, who is Romy from Romy and Michelle. I love her. Um, oh my goodness, The Human Centipede 2. I I have said before, I watched the first one and I shut it off halfway through. I just I was like, I just don't want to watch this. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen the second one though, but that artwork is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Um, Demons, look at that. German media book for Demons. I imagine it's just the first one, not the second one. Um, that's incredible. That is incredible. I like how they put Dario Argento's name all over it. He's not the one that directed it. Uh, I believe it was Lumberto Bava that directed this uh, this movie. But yeah, I need to watch this. This is a big Italian horror blind spot for me. But man, I I'm overwhelmed. Like all this is extraordinarily generous. Like all these media books and Crimes of the Future, High Tension, Raw Deal. Like these are so freaking awesome. Uh, I really love that face off. <laughs> A steel book that you sent. That's freaking awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And uh, game over, man. Game over.